This new Dreamlight Valley's mini game, Scramble Coin, has come to stay, and with it, an entire new set of mini figures you can use to collect, decorate your valley with, or just show off to your friends, I guess. But how do you even win in this game? If you're looking for an answer, I got you covered! Because today, I'll be showing you how I finished collecting all the 34 pieces super fast! This is the only winning strategy you will ever need. Of course, if you want to win every single time with this strategy, you need to know these three super important things. First, the basics of the game. Second, the dream team we're using. And the winning strategy. If you already know the basics of the game, feel free to use the shortcuts on the description below to go to the next point. But for the basics of the game, first of all, Scramble Coin is a turn-based game where you play against another character. There are five turns in total, and on each turn, coins appear on random places on the board, so your objective is to have more coins than your opponent when you finish turn five. In turns 1, 2, and 3, only silver coins appear, but the rest of the turns, you get 3 golden coins on the board on your turn. And these are worth triple. Now, when the game starts, you need to choose which characters you want to use in the game. Then, you have to do two things. First, you need to decide whether you want to add a new character on the board and place it. And the second is how do you want to move your characters in play. You can only have three characters at a time in the board, so by turn four, you can decide if you want to replace a character or skip the step. Parts of the board will start getting some obstacles that your characters cannot go through like pawns and fences. Each character can do different moves and some even have special traits, which you can see by hovering on them. For example, Scrooge can move two squares on any direction and he has the ability to gain one coin each turn and it can only start at the corner of the board. The Dream Team Every time you reach a milestone on your board game ranking, you get a character at random. So you may not have the actual dream team just yet, but that should not stop us from winning. We'll start our basic strategy with the initial team, which is Goofy, Scrooge, Donald, Minnie, and Mickey. Goofy is our main star, as he can move directly into any square between 3 square reach in any direction. The Scrooge is our second star, and he can move 2 squares on any direction and will gain 1 coin for us each turn. Donald is our wild card, as he can move 3 squares into any direction, which is very useful. Minnie and Mickey are the ones that are the most limited in this team, as she can only only move three squares diagonally like a queen and Mickey three squares but only on a horizontal or vertical direction. And our winning strategy will require our dream team, which you can start building as you get the characters in your rooster. Now for our fabulous dream team, we're going to start with Eve. Yes, once you have Eve, you should put her on Goofy's place as she can be put in any square on the board. Honestly, best character ever. Our second character will be Scrooge, and I'm sure you already know why. Our third one will use our villainous side with Ursula. She can spawn in any square on the board, she can move through obstacles, and she can reduce the movement of an opposite character on the board when she ends up her turn near them. She is so wicked and so much fun to play. Our fourth will be, surprisingly, Simba. He can move two squares twice in a vertical or horizontal direction. He has got me out of so many trouble plays, I swear. Finally, and this might be another surprising character, Lumiere. But why him, Cupcake? This is because he is one of the most flexible characters, as he can move one square to any direction and then two squares diagonally, so he can move very fast around the board while grabbing all the coins in his way. So, now that you know the teams, let's get started with our strategy. 
And remember, we'll have two strategies, our initial team and another for our dream team. So let's get started with the basic one. When the game starts, you need to choose your first character by answering this question. Which character can get the most coins on this round? In this case, we can get these two either with Mickey, Donald or Scrooge, but... If all your characters can only get 2 coins max, then I would choose Scrooge, as every turn he will gain 1 extra coin for us. In turn 2, the first question you want to answer is, how can I move my characters on the board to gain the maximum coins? In this case, Scrooge can get any of these 2 coins, and I think it'll be the best to move it here so we can grab that other coin in our next turn. But don't move him yet, this is only to answer our next question. Which character from my rooster can get the most coins? And we cannot count these ones that Scrooge is going to get. So here we can get these two coins with Mickey. We cannot get them with Donald because he can only start from a corner. So let's make our move. In turn 3, we'll start with the same question. How can I move my characters on the board to gain the maximum coins? Now there's one more thing to put attention here because we'll start to get gold coins on turn 4. So here we want to get the most coins but also want our characters to spread out on the board so we get a better chance to get those juicy gold coins. So here we have no choice but to get this coin, but the idea is for Scrooge to cover this area here for the golden coins on next turn. And Mickey will get this coin and try to cover this area. But before moving anything, we still have another character to place on the board. So which character from our rooster can get the most coins? In this case, we can only get one coin and I'll place Donald, but remember, we are also trying to cover this area for golden coins. So let's just make our moves. And gold coins are in in turn 4, and our main objective here is to get them all. So here we want to ask ourselves, can I get all those golden coins with my characters on the board? If the answer is yes, then we'll skip the character selection as this is only to replace characters. You cannot have more than three on the board, remember. In our case, Mickey can get this coin, but unfortunately, Donald cannot get this one. So if the answer is no, we cannot get all the golden coins with these characters on board, then we'll ask ourselves, which character on my rooster can get the gold Golden coins. A lot of times the answer will be Goofy, but if you can avoid using Goofy, that would be best, because that way you can use it later. And remember, you can only replace one character. So if you're using Goofy, hover him on the characters that cannot grab a gold coin to see if he can reach it. And I can see with the blue squares that I can actually do it. So I'll replace the character that can get the last coins in this turn. In this case, it's the same. So I'll just do Donald because he's supposed to cover this area. Turn 5 is up and this is the last turn. You will repeat the same questions of turn 4. Can I get all those golden coins with my characters on the board? If I hover on Goofy, that's a yes for this coin, but Mickey cannot move diagonally. So our answer is no, then our next question is which character on my rooster can get the golden coins? In this case, either Donald and Minnie, but at this point, because it's the last turn, it doesn't matter, so let's do Minnie and... Whoa, whoa, we got 27 coins. Let's see how many our opponent makes. Nice, that's a victory for us. We won by 3 points, and that's a lot for only using the basic team. 
That is it for our basic strategy, but don't go because this is not the winning strategy yet. This is mostly to start getting our winning streak so you can get your dream team. If you got the basic strategy I just mentioned, the winning strategy will be super easy for you. Now this winning strategy will require our dream team. So let's get right into it, starting with our turn one and asking the basic strategy questions we already know. So which character can get the most coins on this round? Remember we now have Ursula, Lumiere and Simba. I will not recommend you to start with Ursula because we will use her to attack later on. In this case, let's start with Scrooge and I'll try to keep him in this area to cover this side. And now on turn two, same questions. How can I move my character on board to gain maximum coins? In this case, Scrooge cannot get anything, but that's fine. This is the dream team, so we are still going to win this. Next question is which character from my rooster can get most coins? Here Lumiere can get these, but remember these are for Scrooge, so it's better that Simba get these other two. But before we do that, there's a new exciting question to ask ourselves. If Ursula can get the same coins as Simba, can I get Ursula near an enemy character? If the answer is yes, or if you get her to move really close so that in the next turn you can attack, then you will use Ursula. Right now we can't attack and gain two coins at the same time with her, so we'll go with Simba and he will cover this area on the board. In our turn tree, same basic questions. How can I move my characters on the board to gain max coins and have them spread out on the board at the same time? Remember in next turn we'll get the gold coins, so we need to check on that as well. Here Scrooge will get this coin and Simba will get this one because he will be covering this area here, right? Uh, next, which character from my rooster can get the most coins? If you haven't placed Ursula and she's an option and you can attack, then you will place Ursula. In our case we still cannot attack yet as you have to end your turn either here or here, but Ursula is the only one who can get two coins from our rooster, so, so I think we can still use her. Let's make our moves. And oh, our opponent is playing aggressive here, but don't fret my friends because we're still going to win this. This is turn 4, gold coins are in, we ask ourselves can I get all those golden coins with my characters on the board? I can see that I cannot get any gold coins, which will happen, remember sometimes even with the best strategies you may just have bad luck, but we'll still accommodate to win. In this case, as we can only replace one character, we'll have to leave one gold coin on the board. So either replace Scrooge or Ursula with Eve. But how do we choose Cupcake? I am so glad you asked. Because this one thing we're about to do feels so satisfying to do. But what is it? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Before you make your move, hover on your enemies and see which golden coins they can get in their turn. And you, my friends, will prioritize taking those. So they are left with no leftovers. Yes, I'm wicked now. It's all Ursula's fault, okay? I swear. So here our opponent can easily get this coin with Stitch, but cannot get this other one. So we'll replace Ursula with our precious Eve. But remember, if you don't have Ursula in play and she can also get the golden coin in attack, then definitely use her. In turn 5, we'll rinse and repeat. Can I get all those golden coins with my characters on the board? If the answer is yes, like in this case. And this is exactly why I have Simba in my team. He can get both coins. But don't skip the character selection yet because we need to do our Ursula check. If we replace Eve for Ursula, we can get one coin plus attack stitch. So let's do it. <laughs> and now stitch instead of moving three spots, he can only move two. 
And that's our absolute victory. Feel free to ask me any questions. If you have any other winning strategies, leave them in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a very sweet day.